Hello, Whitefish Bay Middle School families. Recording this at the end of uh, what was a, a pretty intense day around here. By now, I'm sure you received the district communication regarding the bomb threat that the high school received this morning, and also the very, very good news that uh, the police have secured the, the buildings. They know that everything's safe up there. All of our staff and students at the high school are safe, and we're so thankful for that. Um, I wanted to share with you just how proud I was of our kids today and the way that they responded to um, the, the situation at hand and, and not necessarily knowing what was going on. We, we assured them that they were safe and there was no danger, but uh, they just weren't sure what was going on. And, and uh, as we figured out, we, we tried to help them to understand what was going on too and to get back into a normal day. And they responded so well. They were incredibly responsible. Uh, they listened to the adults involved and they did exactly what they needed to do. A huge shout out to our staff uh, who responded so professionally with so much poise. We, we put together these procedures for things, you know, when things like this happen, but those procedures are only as good as the people that are implementing them. And I was just so proud of the adults in this building today and the way that they have supported our kids through this situation. You know, tonight when your kids come home and, and maybe even in the next couple days, um, you know, this situation might be impacting them. For some kids, this, this might be calling up some feelings for them. And so, um, you know, just to be mindful of that, we certainly saw some of that today and, and our pupil services team was able to respond to support some kids. Um, but, you know, I, I, I put that on, on, on your radar and just because these can be hard things to talk about sometimes with kids. And so I'm going to drop a resource in this Thursday folder for talking to kids about situations like this that, that perhaps you'll find it helpful. If you notice some signs that your that your child might be wanting to talk about this, and I know how middle schoolers can be, they might not always want to talk to mom and dad about things like this, please do not hesitate to call our, our pupil services team and we can follow up with your kids here at school just to make sure they're doing okay and if they need to process anything that they might be feeling because of, of what's going on. So uh, again, I'll put that resource in the Thursday folder, but I just, I, I thank all of you for, um, for your, your support and positive communication through this as well. What I was going to share with you today in this uh, originally this morning when I came in was just to let you know that uh, report cards have been posted for quarter one. I know that seems like a really bizarre transition, but uh, they are they are posted and available for you now in family access. A couple things I just wanted to call your attention to with those report cards. The first one is that if your child was in PE this term, uh, our, our Phi Ed folks have moved all of our grades over to a standards-based reporting. So you'll notice a separate report card for PE. I hope that what you see is much more uh, thorough information about your child's performance in, in, in Phi Ed. Uh, but it, it is on a separate document because it's not the traditional letter grade uh, that they're getting in all of their other classes. So you're going to see two report cards. The second thing, I, I believe all of our 6th and 7th grade parents, you know this, but it doesn't hurt to hear it again. Your child will only be receiving a science and social studies grade at the semester instead of at the, instead of at the quarter. Eighth grade families, if your child was in social studies right now, they'll get a social studies grade. If they're in science, they're going to get a science grade. So just wanted to point those things out with you. Certainly, if you have questions when you're reviewing the report card, the very first person to contact would be your child's teacher if you see anything that you just need a little bit more help to understand. Again, thank you so much uh, for all of your support um, on, on the good days and on the challenging days. Uh, and so I hope you have a great weekend, everyone. If we can do anything to help, let us know. Bye-bye.